My name is Desiree Crooks and I do data entry, but I also write. I'm an author of children books. So my book, Nzinga, the Great Warrior of Angola, talks about a princess from Angola. And when the Portuguese came into Angola, she fought them off for 30 years. And it wasn't until after her death that they were able to conquer the land. And they actually studied guerrilla warfare from her. So what she also did was she united a lot of the, the tribes, a lot of the villages to fight as one against the invaders. So what inspired me to start writing about African history, there's a need for it. There's not enough out there. Our children need to know who they are, to be proud of who they are. In order to know where you're going, you have to know where you came from. For young children and even adults not liking to be called an African, they don't know their history. So that's why something like this, what I'm doing, is important. Because you have to grab the minds while they're young. Because if you don't, many of them will fall by the wayside and a generation will be lost. African history did not begin with slavery. We were the first doctors, we were the, the first scientists, we were the first astrologers, we were mathematicians. It goes on and on and on. We were explorers, we traveled the world. When I'm in the schools, because I've done some presentations in the schools, and unfortunately they tend to call me during Black History Month, which I don't like that. First of all, Black History Month shouldn't just be one month and the shortest month, February the 28th. Black History Month should be every month. You hear a lot of stories about people who experienced slavery or rose up from slavery, Uncle Tom, Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. You hear these people over and over and over and over and over again. Just talking about the same thing, our children need to know more. That's why they get bored because they're hearing the same thing over and over and over again. Make it fast. There are great Africans, kings and queens, who were here far before these individuals that I just called. And our children need to know that. They need to know that it didn't start with slavery. It goes way, way back. And that's why I'm doing this, to let people know, to let children know. And in turn, they will let children know. And not just black children, all children. Because this will make them proud. We were the first of just about so many things. We were the original. I used to work with a, a, a colleague of mine, and she's Caucasian, and her daughter is biracial. And she said to me, Des, I don't know how to comb her hair because she wants my hair. But her hair is not like her mother's hair. Her hair is somewhat like my hair. My hair is locks, but her hair is more coarse. So she was asking me, what do I do? And I said to her, well, first of all, tell her how beautiful she is. Tell her how beautiful her hair is. And, you know, let her know that, you know, her hair is not like yours and blah, 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 blah. Which she said she was doing. But she bought my book. And when she bought my book, the little girl loved the pictures. In my book, all of the children, they have to be natural. They have to be natural. They have to have the natural hair. So when this little girl saw the book, and saw the hairstyles, she fell in love with it. And her mother came back to work and her mother said, wow, she loved it. This little girl doesn't talk about her hair anymore. The Black Panther was a great movie. I, I truly enjoyed it, it was really entertaining. What I, what I loved about this movie is it, it opens dialogue, it opens discussion. Sitting in the theater, made me so proud because it was all positive and not negative as what they try the media or Hollywood tries to portray. Another thing I loved about it, the complexion. They had dark skin, light skin, round skin, red skin. 
It was an array of colors. And even the outfits, it was an array of colors. It made us look beautiful. But it's a great start. And it shows that we can, as black people, we, we have the finance. We need to start doing for ourselves. We need to start supporting ourselves. You can do anything you set your mind to, but first you have to believe you can do it. Irregardless as to what people say, what people do, what people think, you're gonna have haters out there, but that should push you and drive you to want to accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. Thank you.